take uh, ca caffeine pills, no? Yes, call him. <laughs> no, honestly. He is a caffeine. <laughs> yeah, oh. call him is a caffeine pill. to be extremely focused. Get into the zone and um, visualize yourself running what's ahead of you. Visualize what, you, what you've got. So all the mental preparation before you even start your events, so you're totally focused. And make sure you're totally confident and you're ready for what's ahead of you, that you're not flustered, you're, that you're focused. The perfect orienteer is someone who doesn't have a problem to think about nothing during the race, to concentrate only on the map. And um, actually, with no need of concentration, just to have it in the blood. Just the feeling of running fluidly and perfectly. It's just brilliant in bad weather. It's just, I just love it. It doesn't really matter to me what other people are like. It's, it's for as long as I can get my orienteering right and proper on the day, precise orienteering, that'd be better. Precise orienteering. It would be something like knowing where I am on the map because I put myself there for a reason, not going off course and not being lost and not making errors. When I'm imagining what the vegetation should look like when I'm coming into my control. I'm imagining what should be past the control. Should I see that cluster of boulders? You know, I'm imagining that, that clearing that's beyond us. You know, I'm imagining that grotty, horrible um, vegetation past it to my left or to my right. I'm visualizing the terrain that I'm expecting to be ahead of me from what I've read in the map. I don't try and think about actually physically catching Andre. I think about making all my route choices faster. I think about just running faster. Because if you just think about catching him running, you're going to make a mistake on the map or you're going to tire yourself out too fast or something like that. Being in tune with the map, you look at it and you know right away what's the best route. Even without thinking twice, it's only one second and you know which way you're meant to go. Winning is kind of an exhilaration, like it's just kind of, you come back and you look at the results board and you see you're in first place and you're just like, oh wow, and it's just kind of, I don't know, it's a really amazing feeling. If I see somebody up ahead of me, I just want to get them. I want to catch them. So I just forget about how I'm feeling or whether I'm tired or whether I should save myself. And I just go for it. I push myself so hard up the hill. And you know when you catch them that they're going to they're gonna feel bad. They're going to go, oh, what am I doing wrong? I need, to, I need to gain a minute on this guy now to beat him. 
For me, it's uh, finding a control without any problems with uh, self-confidence. Like uh, I'm running in a, in a slope, steep slope. I'm uh, following contour and I know exactly where I am. And I don't have to look in the map. I just know that behind that hill is going to be my control and I just come there and it's there and I just punch it and continue. The adrenaline from surviving something that was so miserable and terrible and hell like I just love the buzz from it. I don't actually like killing myself when I'm running. When you're in tier you don't run as fast as a cross country runner. But you're running over really rough terrain and, and varied terrain, different types of terrain, forest and open mountain, and it changes all the time. And you've got to be able to keep a good, fast speed over all this. And you have to be able to change your speed. And I like that, that you're not always kidding yourself when you're running. Left, right, left, right, left, right. That's the main song that goes through my head. Orienteering is incredibly tough. It's, it can be up to two hours of you running through rain, mud, rivers, over rocks, getting cut up by heather, getting cut up by brambles. And you can go the whole two hours without seeing another person on the mountain. And that's tough, like that can be very psychologically draining. It's, it's the drive and the satisfaction and everything that you've just done, it's what you've accomplished that makes you so happy and so proud of yourself that you've, you've been out there in that mountain, you were cold, it was raining, you suffered and that what makes you so happy because you, you believe in yourself and how good you can be. I know that going downhill is a strong point of mine, so I know that I can just let gravity pull me down that hill and I'm just thinking about, okay, there's a branch, avoid that branch, uh, avoid that tree, and just go down the hill just as fast as I can. I'm angry at myself. Like, I, I kind of feel like I've let myself down. It's kind of a game with, there's two aspects, like there's your, your legs, like you're running, and there's also your head. And if your head lets your legs down, you're, you're pissed off, like in the same way that if your legs let your head down, that you're reading the map really, really well, but you're just not running fast. And then Andre just looks behind, says, you know what, I can beat all of these guys, and just goes for it. And nobody could stick with him. He knew what he was doing as well. He started running fast at exactly the right point. We had just turned around the corner up a very, very steep hill, and he just went for it.
mental part of um, the orienteering is the most important when you want to be the world champion. Because everybody can run hard, everybody can be good on the map, but uh, there has to be something else than just be good on the map and be good in running. It was just miserable and the satisfaction of having it finished, having completed it, gotten around that course and having it behind you and being so happy with yourself for, for braving the elements and, and succeeding in it in a good, good run. It's kind of a feeling that, you know, you went out there and you ran your best and you ran as hard as you could run and that it gave you results. You got results for all that training that you put in, all the hours that you worked and, you know, it's it's ended up that you've got something out of it, you've got a result.